same thing. Oh, I had a, a plus the milk. I had the I had um, cottage cheese, meat. A lot of milk, a lot of fat in the milk. Yeah, and well, there, even though it's non-fat. But you know, milk is not a good source of protein per volume. No. You know, per volume, a uh, 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 quart of milk is only 32 grams. And that, I think it's like 32 grams of protein. Yes. And that's a lot of fluid. And you got all that sugar and the lactose mm -hmm. and all that. Well, but we used to drink it. We used to think that was uh, yeah. bio. But you know what? When in those days we didn't know about enzymes, mm -hmm. and those guys, you see, it wasn't you. It was overloading the digestive system, and you had very foul-smelling wind when you broke it. And guys, we put the nose. The, oh God! So Marvin Eater, he was into pineapple. He used to mother to cut it up for him. He would come in with a bag of pineapple, and we noticed that he wasn't farting like all we were. We were eating unbelievable amounts of protein. Mm -hmm. So we said, well, how come you ain't fine? I don't know. So uh, Artie says, what's that you eat? He said, pineapple. So, so maybe it's pineapple. They said, well, how can I eat a pineapple? But the pineapple has bromelain in it, which breaks down the protein. We want to wait. It does what? Has bromelain in it. Bromelain? Which breaks, yeah, which breaks down the protein so it can oh. be So we start going to the scene us coming to the, to, to, to the gym with all that pineapple. It's so funny how you get this. Everybody had to have a half a pineapple, and you know what? The foul smelling uh, of gas was eliminated. Huh. We had no idea, never examined it until late in years I found out there was a bromelain in the pineapple that broke down the protein. What is happening over and over our digestive system of protein? The body wasn't able to break it down, so actually it was uh, what you call uh, 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 Fermentation, the body uh -huh. was, it, it was actually rotting. You see, because it wasn't completely being broken down. Uh -huh. We didn't know that. Uh -huh. It wasn't something that we studied, we just knew that eating the pineapple better than, you know. And, and, and so we started, uh, uh, it's putrefaction, is what it's called. Uh -huh. So if you don't get a proper breakdown, and if you get older, your body produces less enzymes. But enzymes is essential for the breakdown and assimilation of food. Well, that's that. That's one real, uh, real good uh, piece of information here because I love pineapple. And I used to eat pineapple and cottage cheese for lunch every day for years when I was working. Good combination. Yeah. Because yeah. The, pro the, pro the bromelain in the pineapple breaks down the protein so that it's assimilated. See. And uh -huh. the funny thing about these things, what is called uh, observation deduction, and that's why it doesn't be experience. We had no idea what we were doing, and like associating it with breaking down an enzyme uh -huh. We just knew that we ate the pineapple. Uh -huh. You didn't have no foul smelling uh, uh, fox, you know, and foul smelling stool. It's because it was putrefaction, incomplete digestion. Oh, yeah, and incomplete digestion of protein means that you're wasting your money and you're not getting the, well, you're getting you're not some, getting the, you're not getting not the, the full the, complement of it. Yeah. Because the body can't, uh, the, it's overwhelmed the digestive yeah. system. See, an enzyme we produce. You wouldn't, you couldn't live without enzyme. Uh -huh. But the point is, we don't produce enough when we overload the system with uh, with high concentration of protein uh -huh. or anything. Some people uh, just don't produce enough enzyme. Period. Uh -huh. See, and as we get older, we produce less enzyme. But this is all we learn. You learn a lot. That's what I like about training. Well, yeah, we learned so much of observation and deduction and, and trial and error. Uh -huh. We realized that honey was no good. Didn't know why. Didn't know that it spiked up blood. Didn't know we spiked. Uh -huh. We just know no good. Yeah. Only from trying. Yeah. So we, we, we pushed that. We knew that. When we ate more protein, we pumped better. Yeah. And then it's like the enzymes. We knew that when we took the bromelain, I mean the pineapple, you weren't farting no false but it's not those guys who, the, the fart would be like, oh, God, you know, yeah. and we had no idea. Yeah. Get away from me and all that. And old Marvin, he said, Marvin is a killer, but he said, oh, this dry stuff, you know. Eat the pineapple. He said, well, you always get that damn pineapple and this stuff. And 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 uh, so I think Artie, I never got he said, well, he ain't farting like you. <laughs> and I said, let me just try it. And we all start trying it. And it's just amazing. Yeah. You know, yeah, we, thanks, because man. we started off the same thing as three sets when we started. The thing was, over three sets, you overtrain your muscle uh -huh. and you won't grow. Uh -huh. 
I don't know where it comes from, but we fought. We used to drop the weights and go fire after three sets. <laughs> and, told, and I was the first guy to break that rule. Oh. I said, I didn't feel as comfortable. So I said, I could do more. Okay. And I started doing more sets of my own, started going like hell because I was in the home. Now, did you always train to failure or did you, uh, did you just, just no, train to yeah, fix them out of sets? Fix the number of reps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. fix them out. Yeah. We, used to work, we used to do like every once a week, we would, I never think we made a solid barbells. Mm -hmm. And Marvin and I mainly, and Artie, we, we would stand in front of each other with the barbell and we'd do 10 reps, pass it oh. another, and you do 10. We keep doing it if you can't move. Uh -huh. We didn't do that often because you know, I mean, you, 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 as somebody put a gun in your head and said, mm -hmm. do one more rep, I'll shoot you after the shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was complete failure. Yeah. But we didn't do when you say train it yeah. Yeah. But I don't think that's advantageous on a going mm -hmm. basis. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that, with that sort of thing was something similar to what Jason, I was showing Jason the other day, where I would do, do a certain number of reps and then take, like, say, 15, 16 reps to be done with one at the set after warm ups. And then I take 16 deep breaths, and then I would do 14 reps, and then take 14 breaths, and then 12, uh, you know, uh, reps and 12 breaths until I was down to about to about maybe six. Same weight. Same weight. Yeah. And but somewhere in there you're going to be really you can't. Well, you what, you can't do you, that. you take the breath, you still got the weight in your hand. No, you can put it down. No, you don't. Uh, well, see, I, I we my. My theory is, if you do over 10, you're tiring the muscles to the weight. Mm -hmm. See, if you took uh, two pounds and did enough time, you tired the muscles, you're not going to do it. Yeah. The only difference between weight and training is mm -hmm. the concentration. Of the best built men in the world, being took guys in old trucks. Mm -hmm. It's not concentrated. Yeah, yeah. You see? So, I ne we never went over, I never went over 10 minutes in my life. Yeah. Well, that's... Uh Never. But remember, remember, I got old joints. Oh well, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. still, you don't have to do so many reps unless you just wanna. I mean, what is your plan to doing so many reps? This, uh, the, the main, the main is, is that if if I'm using if I'm using a, a weight that's not hurting my uh, hurting my joints. If I use if I use weights that hurt the that you know if I just if I started with say ten, I, and uh, and then work down. Uh, lower, I'd be using a lot more weight. Why you work down lower? What's the purpose of working down? That's what I mean. Because your body can't handle it. The yeah, same, but, the same but, weights, but the why? same number of reps. But the same weight you're using, you yeah. work down? Yeah. Well, how could you do 16 and then 4 with 14, the same weight? 14. Then how low do you go? Well, it depends on how many sets I feel like doing. Until I do until I, you know, you, you go down low enough that, you, that How many sets do you do? Well, I just do one, one series of that. No, how many sets? So, it'd be, well, it'd be, let's say if, it's, if I started out with, say, let's say I started out with 12. Mm -hmm. 12 reps. So it's 12, 10, 8, 6, 4. That'd be 5. But the same weight. Same weight. Same weight. But quicker, faster, and faster because when you do 6, so you do 6, it's, it's sort of like um, rest pause. Almost, mm -hmm. because if you do if you do the uh, the breathing, you know it, it takes, you know. You don't have a feather leg during that. I during this. No, when no. you don't breathe like that. You no, don't I, no, I mean pass out. No, yeah, I'm not passing no. out, like, but you know. No, no, I'm, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. Uh, but why are you breathless when you do that? Uh, it depends on the exercise. So I mean, you do it when you when you, yeah. when you take the breath. Why do you take those breaths between? Uh, well, to, to breathe, yeah. No, but I mean, like say you do 16, right? Uh-huh. So why do you have to take the breath? You breathe naturally, I mean. Well, why do, when I do 16 reps, I'm not breathing naturally. That's because I can only probably do maybe 18 with that weight. Oh, uh -huh. how much do you say? Just curious. Uh, depends on the exercise. We like are, say you do curls, how many do you Not a whole lot, maybe. 50 pounds or something like that. Bob Oliver, No, it, no, a machine. We're doing preaching. Oh, machine. Oh, yeah. yeah. You like machine work? I, I, I do. I, when I went into this gym over here, Coach, you've been in there, I'm sure. Uh, all I saw were these machines, and all I knew was free weights and pullings. So, 
but then I got to where, got to where I was used to, you know, got used to the machines, and I and I machines prefer them. Machines are much more comfortable. Well, yeah, but the, but the thing is, I know one of the things is you don't want to be comfortable because you want to make. But they're more comfortable, and but the only thing with the machines, to, to build them exclusively, it doesn't work the supporting muscles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, and the machines weight by gyms and get popular the machines coming. The weights are intimidating. Those gyms that wear nothing, or the edge go with nothing but weights. People didn't go, they look at those big black dumbbells and all, and it look like too much work. <laughs> machines come in, and, you know, it's just fun. Yeah, you can just change the Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. And that's why it's so popular. Mm -hmm. the, the weights are usually out of the way yeah. in those gyms. Yeah. Because the machines are, I like the machine like, uh, I, I just started to go back because I had this big universal machine that was, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, uh, I, I Jason's got it now, and I don't have anywhere to, to train on the train, so I haven't done anything. Trivial we'll shoot dumbbells, 30 pound mm -hmm. girls, but nothing to me. So Jason said, Why don't you come over and use your machine? I said, Yeah, I'm excited. And I went for the first time the other day. And what a difference. It's like, wow. The body, when you don't do nothing for, for a long time, you're doing it, it's amazing. It's almost like uh, watching the naval. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> We're excited. You're really, ah! really something.